Hey folks, Teddy Feinberg, Brooks Stockburger. We're here at the uh, luxurious Ramada Palms in Las Cruces. Um, after the fire at the Las Cruces Sun News, but we're still bringing you the Teddy and Brook show. Brook, let's get the ball rolling here. District basketball starts this week. It actually started Tuesday. Um, but, you know, we've said it before, we have three, four quality teams in this district this year. Go ahead and, and roll with it. Yeah, Cruces Mayfield are coming up. You know, anytime they play, it could be squash or polo if they had those teams. It would be a big deal. Trojan Bulldogs. Um, but also, you know, there's an early jockeying, jockeying for supremacy in the district. Um, you know, not every team's going to go. This could be like the NFL playoffs where a decent team doesn't make the postseason this year. So, you know, they're going to want those, those tight high seats because when the district tournament comes, you know, give you a, a quicker shot to the state playoffs. Top to bottom, it's a great district this year. Gadsden's probably fourth place in there in Alamo is five, but Mayfield's looking like the third place team. And then we're going to have Cruces and Onyate, you know, jockeying for the top spot. That's going to be a great game on Friday night. Terrell DeRue and Tim Jacobs, they make up a fantastic backcourt. Cruces high is the size. They have Mono Marshall, Trevor Noel in the middle. So it'll be interesting to see how those two teams kind of go after each other, and that could really set the tone for the remainder of the district race. But there's no doubt that it's going to be one of the better district runs in the last few years. Let's now hop on Aggie basketball. They did what you wanted them to do. They got the sweep, the home sweep last week against Hawaii and San Jose State. Now they're back on the road. Thursday night they play Nevada. Saturday night they play at Utah State. Yeah, they had to get this week. Uh, no argument there. You have to win those two games against inferior teams at home. They did what they had to do. They've got some momentum in the whack. Yeah, Utah State, Stan always has a great team coming out of Logan. That's a tough place to play. But if you can knock them off, you're sort of sitting pretty in the whack right now. I think so. The WAC seems very down this year. Nevada is going to be a better team as the year rolls on. I really believe that. So that'll be a good test for NMSU tonight. And like Brooks said, whenever you have to go to Utah State and play on the road there, it's always a stiff challenge. So big road trip here for the Aggies, but they look to close out WAC play strong, get a good seating in the tournament, and try to get back to the NCAA. You know they have a chance to do it again in this year's WAC. Utah State's right there. Boise State's had a decent year, but NMSU should be right there as well. All they got to do is get hot in the tourney, position themselves with a good seed in the tourney, you know, win three straight, and you're in the big dance. Absolutely. Folks, thanks for joining us again. Um, we will be right back at you next week. You can also check us out online, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a good week. See you.